Hey friends, okay, so today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet. I'm gonna pray it with you. Bead by bead, I'll kinda show you how to move your fingers, what to say, how to say it, all of the things. Um, I did this with the rosary. I'll put the rosary down below and people said it was so helpful to actually pray it and explain it as we go. So that's what I'm gonna do with the Divine Mercy Chaplet. All right, so the first thing you might want to do, you don't have to, but if you are near a printer, you might wanna print this out because it has all the prayers on there. Um, and so that might be helpful. I'll also put up here what the prayers are so you don't have to do that. And I will show you bead by bead what we're doing and then also I won't be doing the novena today but I do have all the prayers if you want to print them out you can go to my website I'll link it down below and you can just print out all of the prayers uh, to do that if you want okay so the first thing that you'll want to do is you'll take the crucifix which is the cross with Jesus on it and you'll make the sign of the cross so you'll go in the name of the Father Son and the Holy Spirit Amen. And every Catholic prayer usually starts with the sign of the cross and ends with the sign of the cross. And you use your right hand for that and you make the sign of the cross. Then what you'll want to do is start with the first prayer. Okay, and so the first prayer is actually optional. So if you're praying with a group of people, they might not pray this prayer or they might pray this prayer. I don't normally pray with this prayer, so I'm going to use my little pamphlet. You expired Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls. The ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. So then what you'll wanna do is you'll take th this part, which has just the littler beads, there's five beads um, and you will go to the first bead and you'll pray in our father. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. And then you'll go to the next bead and you'll pray one Hail Mary. That's the only Hail Mary of the whole thing. But you'll pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So as you go, you kind of just want to pinch each one as you move. So that's how you keep track. And if you do know the words, you'll just wanna close your eyes and meditate on the words as you as you go. So this is the, the next one is the Apostles' Creed. So I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thenceforth, he shall judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Okay, and then you'll want to move to the middle part. So this is where it's just a big loop, right? So you start, and you usually want to go to the right, but you can, whatever works for you. So pretty much what you'll do at this part is you pray the Eternal Father. This is the Eternal Father part. So Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. And then you'll, for the next 10, so then you'll you'll see there's 10 here till the next big bead. So each bead you'll wanna pray the for the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And then you'll go to the next one and you just wanna meditate on 
God's mercy, right? Like that's the whole point of the Divine Mercy Chaplet is God's great mercy. And so you'll want to meditate on that. And what it really is, is like you're humbling yourself. You're like, God, I am a sinner, but I know your mercy. Like it's all about God's mercy. It's beautiful. And so we're begging God to have mercy on us. And then you'll go to the next bead and you'll say, for the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And then you get to the big beat again and you'll do Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. And then you just start it over again. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And then you get to the tenth one. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. And then you just start over again. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And then you get to the tenth one. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. And then you just start over again. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Okay, and then you get to the three-way point again, and usually there's like a miraculous medal or some type of medal right there. I have a little miraculous medal right here. I don't know if you can see it, but what you want to do there are you repeat this prayer three times. It is, Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Okay, and then there is a closing prayer, which is also optional. So you could just end it there. And the way that you end the Divine Mercy Chaplet is you say, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. So you say that three times and that, and then make the sign of the cross. And that's how you would normally just end it if you wanted to. But there is a closing prayer that is optional. So I will read that off. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasure of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. And then you want to say, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. And then you take the, the crucifix again and you make the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. And you kiss the cross. And so that is how you pray the actual divine mercy. I'll link everything down below. And until next time, I will see you all later. God bless. Bye.